big deal. I was just, I was totally focused on this, not the fact that I really wanted to see Moana. Disney Plus, Ooh. amazing. I don't have Disney Plus, but I do have Moana. Make you way, do? Make way. I love it. So much fun. See, the nice thing about quarantine is I can watch as many shows as I want. Except but, for when we have projects. Yep. You got to work on the Civil War project. Ugh, Civil War this, Civil War that. I'm already living a history. I mean, there's something called a pandemic that I'm going to be in textbooks about. So why do I got to sit here and do this? Whatever. It's important. <laughs> and our history affects us today. I guess you're right. So one day this will affect our students in the future. <laughs> Well, we become teachers. That's pretty deep, man. Yeah, I guess so. But in the meantime, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not the biggest fan, but Mr. Song said we had to do it. And I keep getting poor grades in his class. So it's time for me to step up. I even got this notepad from my mom's uh, office space or somewhere around here. She told me not to touch it, but I got it. Mm -hmm. What should we do? Well, we have to pick somebody that we think is influential from the Civil War. So who would you want to write about? You mean like an influencer? Mm-hmm. Girl, I love it. So right. who's, who would be our influencer for the Civil War? Well, duh, Harriet Tubman. She was like Ooh. a boss lady. She was. But maybe we shouldn't call her a boss lady in our essays. Okay, fine. We can call her Queen B, like Beyonce. I know it's like super close, but Beyonce would be fine with it. She's a legend. That may be true, but since this is for class and it needs to be professional, maybe we should only use her name in professional and respectful terms. Then how are people going to know what's up? What do you mean? Like, how are people going to know about her life if I don't tell them, hey, she's a boss lady? Like, oh. then they know. We will tell her what she did and that she's amazing, but we don't have to call her a boss lady or queen bee. Oh, so just Harriet Tubman. Mm -hmm. And we can use nice and positive and powerful adjectives to describe her. Like influential huh. and inspiring. Okay, I see what you mean. Just use more like academic words, like words for school. Yeah. Okay, fine. We can roll with it. But an influencer is super engaging. So we can start our paper off with, hey guys, it's Allison and Michaela, and we're back again to talk about the Harriet Tubman tea. I think that will just, Mr. Song's going to love it. I think that would be good for a YouTube video, but maybe not an academic paper for school. Then Remember, we have, to, we have to be professional, so we need to think of a way to engage our audience, but be professional. But how are they going to know that it's us if we don't say, hi, my name is? Our names are going to be on the paper. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I've been telling all my or writing all my papers as hi, my name is. And you're telling me my teachers knew my name the whole time. So I've just been repeating myself like a crazy mm -hmm. person. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. So, okay. so how do we start it? How do we start it? How do hmm. I move on? I can't well, do this anymore. Mr. Song taught us that maybe we should, in our introduction, use a question or a personal story or a shocking fact to engage the reader into what we're going to talk about. Like clickbait. Whoo, it just gets you excited. I like it. Yeah. Okay. So professional. We do professional clickbait. Hmm. Maybe we could say, did you know that Harriet Tubman went back nine times to the South to free other people who were enslaved? Oh my gosh. I love it. And I want to read more. Yes. Done. We're starting it that way. Check that off. Check. Okay. Renegade. So now that we have our introduction What's next? Let us think. Renegade, renegade. Oh, I'm sorry. I got a little distracted. What were we talking about? Um, what's after our introduction? What comes next in our paper? 
I remember Mr. Song saying something about content. Oh, like YouTube content, where, like, if you're talking about Harriet Tubman, then your whole video's got to be about Harriet Tubman. Oh, yeah. So we should talk about Harriet Tubman and how she was influential in the Civil War. So I can't just talk about her life from, like, a baby up to, like, when she died? I think we can, but I don't think we need to spend our whole paper talking about that. Oh, I guess you're right, since we're talking about how she, like, made a difference and stuff. Yeah, we Makes should sense. spend more time talking about that instead of her childhood. And I think since there's three body paragraphs in our essay, we could spend one talking about her childhood, and the rest of it could be about how she was influential. Three body paragraphs? Hold up. Let me do the math. I'm good at math. Yeah, 15 sentences. What? We can do it. I think okay. there's a lot of information that we can talk about. She was a boss lady. I mean, and she was Harriet Tubman. She was inspiring and influential for all of us. Yeah, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, so after we write our 15 sentences, which is our three body paragraphs that we need to end in, because I got points off for that last time, um, what do we do after that? Can't I just put a picture and say, thanks, Mr. Song, peace. Well, if we're, if we're writing a professional paper and our introduction is professional and the rest of it is professional, then our conclusion should be professional too. Oh, gosh. So I can't just say, like, click like or subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know. <sighs> this is hard. Okay, That's so hard. wait, wait, wait. I think I remember it. Let me get my binder. I think, I think Mr. Song said... Oh, yeah, like a call to action or like a, what did I write? Sorry, I drew a flower. I've got to read this a little closer. Like a call to action or something that makes the reader think about what we just wrote about? Yeah. All what right. Could, what could be our call to action for Harriet Tubman? I mean, she lived a long time ago. Mm. Maybe we could say, we could apply it to like, you know, our lives, make it more relatable. So we could say, how are you impacting the world around you in this current situation? I oh, like it. Man, that's a killer. If this was a YouTube channel, they'd like and subscribe. Yes, they would. Woo. So then now what? We've planned. Now we just have to write it. Oh my gosh, that sounds so hard, but I will have to say, now that you got this whole brainstormy thing going, I feel like I can make the sentences now. You know, I kind of got like a plan in my head, kind of like a grocery list, so maybe it won't be too bad. I don't think it will. I think since we planned, we know what we want to say, and it'll be easier to write. Or we can play rock, paper, scissors, and you know, the loser can write it, <coughs> you <laughs> no. <coughs> Why not? Because this is a group project. We both have to work on it. How about you? That's not, there's, there's, no, that's not how teamwork works. Fine. I guess our next Zoom meeting is going to have to be about that. Maybe we could plan a Zoom meeting to write it. And then after that, we need to revise and edit. So then we could plan another Zoom meeting to make it perfect. I see what you mean. Break up the work so I'm not stress writing at 12 o'clock at night to turn it in. Yeah. That's genius. Why didn't I talk to you sooner? I've been writing papers right before they're due, and it's been hard. That sounds hard. See, you're so smart. So we need to plan things out and then step by step keep going with the writing process so we can have something good to turn in. Maybe I'll finally get that A. I think if we work together and we stay focused, we can do it. You're so smart. Well, I'm going to go eat my ramen now. Bye. Be sure to like and subscribe. Hey, Michaela. Oh, he hey. Cut that, cut that, cut that, cut that, redo, redo, redo. Project.
Yeah, I saw your button to invite me and I said, well, I guess I got to since Mr. Song wants to assign us online learning, like papers, who does that? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, we went down a rabbit hole. Should we just retry from the beginning? Yeah. <laughs> Over here trying to learn the renegade. It's the best dance ever. Do you even know how to do it? Are you on TikTok? I'm not on TikTok. You should be.